And now the light welterweight final between Kevin Brown of Cuba and Lester Martinez of Guatemala. Brown getting past Joshua Kelly of England in the semi-finals. Martinez disposing of Parviz Bagirov. That was a very good win. Bagirov of Azerbaijan, the European youth champion. Martinez, by winning his quarter-final, became the first Guatemalan to medal at an international boxing event. And he improved on that guaranteed bronze. And there is Kevin Brown. Very tight against Alexandros Sanakidis of Greece in the quarter final. Light well to weight at 60 kilos. Lester Martinez, two time Central American champion. Getting past Bagarov by four points and a really good win against Carlos Adamez as well of the Dominican Republic in the previous round. Adamez, a Pan American youth champion. Mariusz Gorny of Poland is a referee. Brown in the red corner, Martinez in the blue corner. We saw this yesterday in the semi-final. Martinez's style is a little untidy. Leans slightly forward in that stance. Walks down his opponent. He's awkward. But there's nothing wrong with that. Brown, meanwhile, you would describe as more of a stylist. Pops out that jab. Good sound, tight defence. Cuba, of course, with an astonishing record in amateur boxing. You think about the likes of Felix Savon, Teofilo Stevenson, both three-time Olympic champions, Mario Kindelan. You expect them at every tournament they arrive at to produce medals. They've got two finalists today. Throwing that right hand, Brown. Slipped over the head of Martinez, who ducks his head a little as he comes in, but got a left hand away. Good variation of punches from Brown, but all either missing or caught on the gloves. Again, Martinez with a speedy combination, but this is how... Brown with a speedy combination rather, but this is how Martinez goes about his business. He's happy to take those on the gloves and the forearms.
And at the end of the first, it's Guatemala that's up. Four points to two. Brown was the busier of the two in that first round. Martinez is proving to be a very difficult customer to deal with. A two-point lead at the end of the opening three minutes is a healthy one. You see that style, he tucks the elbows in, keeps the gloves high, exactly as you're supposed to do, and manages to take almost all of the opponent's punches on the forearms or on the gloves. But also manages to score with some replies of his own. exchanges at the start of the second round. Right hand thrown over the top there from Martinez. May have got through to the left hand side of Brown's head guard. Strong punch from the Guatemalan. Just sent Brown staggering back a little bit across the ring. Didn't land cleanly, I don't think. Right hand was crisp and accurate there from Brown. Maybe he's just beginning to work out a way to fight against Martinez. And nobody else has really managed to work that out so far. Harvey's bagger off yesterday banged away to the body but without success. Good footwork from Brown. But you can never stay away from Martinez for too long. Uppercut. A little bit of variation there from Martinez. I haven't seen him throw too many of those. The judge's verdict at the end of this second round is absolutely crucial for Brown. Two points down after the first. He cannot afford that margin to have widened. Nice right hand. Good work on the inside. And it's 9 all at the end of that round. It was given 7-5 in favour of the Cuban. There were a lot of punches thrown. And a lot of them scored. Seven to seven and the six. Would have been selected there. And three of those four fives and selected scores for Martinez so maybe it just is the case that after that first round Brown managed to work out a more effective way of fighting against Martinez he's very strong Brown with a good tight defence gets his own punches away and a nice crisp left lead got through there So as tight as you'd like going into the third and final round, we have seen 
One bout already. Level on the scorecards after the end of the third round. Oliver Simpson winning by... Well, I'm not sure, sure exactly how you describe it. Double count back. Count back was level as well. So it went to the chairman of the jury who found in the favour of the blue corner. It doesn't get much closer than that. Good left hand there from Martinez. Just caught Mar Brown in his tracks as he tried to pivot away to his left-hand side. He can sometimes come up with some surprising punches, Martinez. It's easy to look at somebody with his style and see him as being maybe a bit one-dimensional. He does tend to come forward in quite straight lines with that guard held high, so-cut punches on the gloves as he is there. But every now and again, he just throws in one you're not really expecting from an angle that he hasn't previously found. Brown ducking the head. Too low there and the referee telling him to keep it up. Nice right hand to the body. Well, that looked okay to me, but the referee, again, saying that that was possibly a little bit low. So we head into the ninth and final minute of this contest. This set. Light welterweight, 64 kilograms for gold between Lester Martinez in the blue corner, Kevin Brown in the red corner. And who's going to finish the stronger? It was 9-all going into the final round. Maybe Brown is looking a little bit fresher. Martinez trying to get into the inside. And there are points being scored in there, I'm sure. Exactly how many and for whom, I couldn't tell you. And that's a little bit foolish from Brown, just stretches the gloves wide. A touch of showboating as he unloads a left and then a right hand and he does a bit more of it. He obviously feels he's got enough here. I don't see how he can be quite so confident of that. And leaves himself open in the last 10 seconds. Drops those gloves. A couple more seconds remaining. Time to land one final punch. Ryder at least two. The bell goes. He sinks to his knees. Kevin Brown. He thinks he's won. And so does Lester Martinez. Well, we'll see. We won't have to wait long. 4-2. Martinez won the first round. 7-5. Brown won the second round. 9-9 nine, nine then. Heading into the third and final round. He's very confident. The Cuban. He's very confident indeed. Let's see if it's justified. The winner is in the red corner. It is justified. He gets a decision. He took that final round 8-5 to overall win 17-14. And that's a very good performance after being two points down at the end of the first round. To turn it around to that extent is impressive. And it's gold for Cuba and gold for Kevin Brown. He is an impressive fighter, Brown. You look at his all-round technique, his all-round style, and it's difficult to pick too many faults in it. 